So this is a quick update on my uh, slowly growing but uh, getting better kettlebell collection. First two, you know, nice uh, pretty pink one we got here, both by VF. All right, these things are solid. I mean, a little, little on the pricey side, but you know, the steel alloy haven't broken yet. And I mean, we've been pummeling these things lately. So, although a little rust on the handle, kind of concerned about that. I don't know if there's like some special treatment that I didn't take, even though these things have been in the weight room since I got them. But, oh well, what are you gonna do? So we got the, we got the 8K and the 20, 26 pounder, 12K right here. All right. Notice the nice uniform size. All right, they're like that all the way up, all the way through the line. They don't change its size, which is nice. A little bit of disadvantage with the iron. You notice the 50s are actually smaller than the, than the steel ones here. These are cat barbell. You know, first thing you notice, where the chunk's missing. Right, I don't know why, but they put this plastic enamel coating thing covering the kettlebell and really just, you know, cast iron. Of paint, that's it. That's all you gotta do. You know, some wheels. Now, of course, you broke the cap off. There's a cap for the, uh, I'll tell you how much it weighs. I don't know point of that. So, cap, you know, do yourself a favor. Get rid of whatever, you know, this mess is. So, especially on these other ones. I mean, these things break no problem. Stick the steel on there. See that? Right off the bat. I already took another chunk off. So, but, Good price, buck fifty. These are fifty pounders each. Then just pick these guys up. TDS. Not too wild about the handles. They're huge. I mean, you know, like this is your standard competition size. Well, enough room, you know. Standard uniform. It's nice. These are just massive. This is just this is overkill. You know, too big. But for the price, only got them for a dollar a pound. Can't beat that. Now I was a little disappointed to find this uh, that's frustrating but what are you gonna do 60 pounds is 60 pounds I guess a little bit bigger got a pair of 70s nice fresh out of the box a little little imperfection there but oh well not too worried about how pretty they look as long as they get the job done and just for shits and giggles and a 125. <laughs> and you can see one thing is the handle on it is gigantic. I mean, that is that wide. All right, that's as far as I can get my hand around there. I got a pretty big hand. That's as far as it goes. And then what I noticed was <clears throat> it didn't have that little groove at the bottom there. So I don't know why the huge ones don't, but then the little guys do. I don't know what the point of that is. I don't know, maybe there's something I'm missing. But. So this ought to be fun to play with. I'm gonna see if I actually I can even clean it later, but mostly just wanna use it for some heavy swings now until my strength goes up. Still trying to get used to these 50s. 